Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to another video. I am finally freaking pleasing that guy that keeps asking for the Girl Auto Showcase. I know you, you should, this is what you're required to say. You're only allowed to say, thank you. But it's like, it's like a capital T, Hank, uh, like period, and then Y-O-U period with a capital Y. That's all I want to see, and you can't say anything else, okay? Anyway, <laughs> we're going to be showcasing Girl Auto today, and I'm pretty excited to try it out because I got a pretty interesting set I'm using here. Now, here, I've never really used Girl Auto, so I don't really know what exactly I'm doing with it, but that's why these showcases exist, so I can actually try it out. Um, here, I have a used crayon, so I can have passive healing. Uh, health and magic defense, we want to boost our highest possible defensive stat because, like, this thing has, like, 100 billion magic defense. Yeah, 110 match defense, 100 HP is basically Venolin. Um, yeah, it's basically just Venolin, but weaker. Um, and with Adipose, we are actually a very, very good counter to fire types and ice types, which is really, really nice. And here I have Belch, Body Sand, Reckless Charge, Capsize. Now, I think you could run Meditation over Reckless Charge. Personally, I never see any reason to run Meditation on anything because they can just switch in a melee attacker and then, like, suddenly you meditated for literally nothing and you're forced to switch out. Like, if I meditate and they go to Henchim, what was what did I just accomplish? I'd rather Belch, you know? And Belch paired with melee coverage is really nice because you can guarantee poisons because metal types are not going to want to stay in. Unless it's like Metal Ultra. <sighs> then things can get a little bit interesting. And Body Slam is like your main stab, and later running, I don't think you're going to be running Careless Assault on it. I think Body Slam is its main stab it's going to be using for a little while, um, which is fine. Uh, it also gets Tidal Slam later, which you're definitely running over Capsize. But Capsize is here, so you can take advantage of Adipose's uh, fire type resistance, and you can beat them. And since most fire types are ranged right now, being Incinelisk, Exival, and I think there's one more ranged fire type, but I'm kind of forgetting who it is. Um, but we can take advantage of Adipose's capsize. We're not going to do that much damage at all to them, but we still get some decent chip, which will be nice. We're mostly just going to be clicking Belch. I was also thinking originally of using um, Sickly Ooze to get diseases off, but I decided it's not worth it. Because... <sighs> If my main idea is to poison things, I'd rather just do that instead of just trying to get diseases off, and then I do damage then, like, afterward. Oh, yeah. And Vixelor, Magmato, Dayferno, Junipyro. Yeah, a lot of them are ranged. But, yeah, with the equipments here, we have Feathered Hat, Ordin Necklace, and Pizza Slice. The reason I think Feathered Hat could be changed, but everything else I think is fine. Feathered Hat I went for because I like how it gives the attack and the magical defense, the two stats you want to be boosted the most. Ornate Necklace boosts your attack and a little gets you a little bit of defense. Pizza Slice is just the best equipment in the game, so we always use it on defensive things. Because, okay, if you ever if you ever fight something that's defensive, it's gonna be a Pizza Slice. Like, it's literally always gonna be Pizza, be, be, be pizza Slice. <laughs> anyway, I'm excited. Hopefully you are as well. Let's see how Garuda will fare in PvP today. Let's hop into it. Okay, here we go into the first battle. This is going to be a very interesting battle because there's a Polar Geist, which we fully counter, an Incinelis, which we can do really good against and poison it. We can actually poison the entire team except for Lumaline, so we're going to have to be worried about that, but I feel like our Reckless Charge does enough to Lumaline. Honestly, like, Garuda kind of beats the entire team. It does really good versus the whole thing. I'm a little worried um, about the Wolf Freeze, but, I mean, I literally brought Binotic solely because wolf freeze exists so hopefully we can beat it there um although we can't really beat the the lady here uh actually no we can beat it with girl Auto, so we're gonna have to carry girl Auto's gonna have to carry versus incinelisk um i'm gonna go with the lead of voltatu and if they go wolf freeze lead, then i'm just gonna leave the game okay this is good because now i get pivot and they don't um i could also go for a shockwave like there i could shockwave here but honestly i still i just think hit and run is just my better option because they hit and run they get chip but they probably just switch, honestly. I don't see them hitting running and getting chipped because they know that they need this alive. Actually, not necessarily. Oh. I just realized how much my polar guys kind of pops off. I don't know what they're going to go into. I would assume Moss. Moss makes the most sense for me, to, for them to go into. Mm. Also, this is a team where I just kind of threw a lot. Oh. Oh. Oh, I really wish a Shockwave now. Oh, I really, really wish I shockwaved. Okay. I get to go by Nautic. Okay. Now, 
I'm going to assume they're just going to go in Sinilisk, because they always go in Sinilisk on Recombobulate. Um, I could totally Kona Cold here. Well, they could also go Moss, but if they go Moss, I just could go back and hold Tatu and then get another Pivot. I'm going to Kona Cold here, because they always either go in Sinilisk or Moss. Okay, yeah, they go in Sinilisk. This is good, really, really good damage. Yeah, very, very good damage there. Now I get to go Gorwato, and then I get to get a Poison off, because now they might think, like, oh, Gorwato is... Oh, it's ex Espresso, okay. Oh, that does nothing. Very nice there. Gorwato tanking that like a champ. We can't tank that many, though, so we have to be worried. Um, like, okay, they might not know what this thing does, so I'm gonna belch, and I think the safest play they would make is go Moss, because they wouldn't want to risk Lumaline, but if they go Lumaline, they unfortunately get the poison off unless I miss. So, if they switch Lumaline, I have to hope I, I roll the 1 in 5 to miss. Because <clears throat> that would be best case scenario if they, if they go Lumaline, because of course Lumaline's immune, or it will reflect it back on me. Or... Is that how it works? Because is it immune first, or does it bounce it back first? I'm pretty sure it bounces it back first, because in Lumi Legacy, it works like that. Ooh, sick, we get the poison We get the poison on Grufflin. That is really, really nice there. Okay. You could also pair Gorwato with a Toxic Bomb user, like maybe Mold, um, or something like that. That could be pretty nice. I assume they're just going to go for Hit and Run. I can go... I feel like I can just go Volt. Um, although I really don't want them to get a good pivot off on me. What I'm going to do is actually just... I could Reckless Charge as... Depending on what they do, they can't go Polar Guys with that wallet. Um, I want a Reckless Charge, actually. I want a Reckless Charge in their... Actually, they are Nosedive. Shoot. Okay. That's not what I expected, I'm going to be entirely honest. I did not expect them to do that. I thought they would hit and run, because they, I always go Voltatu there. That's fine. If they feast here, that's best case scenario for me. So, I'm just going to switch out. Go into uh, Zapdos. Now, if they hit and run, that's good. If they feast, that's also really good. Okay, I take nothing from that. Okay, and he's going to lose a lot of health. So now this is a point where I can Shockwave, I feel, and just not be worried about that much. Because if they go Lumaline, I mean, I kind of am required to go into Binotic. Because I hopefully am going to be able to wall it there. Um, or, no, I, I hit and run. I hit and run. Ow! I probably actually shouldn't have just clicked Shock Therapy, because now I lose, um... I lose. That was a crit, too. Did I hit myself? Okay, what's... Okay, so now they get the free switch and a Wolf Freeze. Uh, I still have Gineco on the field, and Silas is decently low. Um... Okay, do I need this anymore? I want to I wanna have it here to pivot versus Moss, but if anything, I have to sack something, then pivot... So I think my best case, my best choice here is to sack this and then go into Xenoxious. And then I think I just click Reckless. Because they know Reckless would come out and they don't ever one-shot. Actually, I would Poison Punch. Because I think it would still kill Wolf Freeze. Actually, no. Poison Punch wouldn't kill Wolf Freeze. After Spiky Thorn's chip, it would. They Quick Ice and that's totally fine for them to Quick Ice. They didn't actually take Spiky Thorn's chip, so my entire plan is going to fail here. I need to go into you, and I need, because they wouldn't sack Wolfree, because they never one-shot Xenoxious. They never one-shot Xenoxious, right? So, my th question here is, do I Poison Punch or Reckless? Because if I Poison Punch, I don't think it's going to kill, and that would leave me in a weak spot, but then I can just go Binotic. Um, I do need Xenoxious alive, and I can still beat Polargeist with Grawato. So, we're gonna need that to work out in our favor. I'm gonna Reckless. I think it's, yeah, okay, safest option. I think I still kill even after minus two. So, them doing that doesn't really help them, because I still kill it with Reckless Charge. They don't live this. They can Icy Bite do half my health, but it doesn't really matter, because I will still be able to kill it. If they go Polargeist, that's fine. I'm gonna be forced to go Grawato, though, on the Kona Cold. Which is what I'm very worried about tanking. Okay, I still kill it here with Reckless, so that's good. Yeah, Wolf Freeze is not that tanky. Okay, that's really good, because now I get to pop off as an Oxious. All I need to do is hit Polar Geist and break its Kona Cold thing. That's what I need to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go Grawato. See how well Grawato tanks this, because the, the title is literally the best Polar Geist counter. Let's see how well we tank this. Oh, I got crit again. Okay. Really nice there. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. I guess my best option is to just belch. That's my best option. 
Rona Gold. Yeah, I'm gonna die there. Um, okay. Now, what we really need to do is do at least 25% here with Binotic. Actually, no. We go Janeko. No, we go Janeko. We just always get to go Janeko. And we need to, uh... We just Hex. Okay, good. Now, them getting their Boo off here is fine, because we are Determination Jelly. So, that won't help them, and they no longer have any priority. So, we are guaranteed to die next turn, though, thanks to, uh... Insanlist's existence. So, it's coming down to Xenoxious, I think. Oh, and Polar Guys kind of gets to Kona Cold the entire team without, like, any punishment. So, that's good. I wish I didn't get crit twice and I would have just gone Voltatu on Grufflin. I should have just done that. So, yeah, I'm just going to die here and it's fine. I can just, I can attack. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it does literally no damage. Now, in this scenario, I would have to, um, Xenoxious is, I don't think it's an auxious is the play. Polar guys is the play here because I need to kill this first before I can do anything versus the whole other team. And he can't switch anything in because of my uh, attack investment. I think on this, I am Glemish Cap Rock Candy. Yeah, so now we win with Xenoxious because Poison Punch and Reckless Charge. It doesn't matter what they do. Moss will take too much from Reckless. Okay, so yeah, this comes in, which is something I was a little worried about. Um... I definitely outspeed this though, right? They don't run max speed. I don't think it, yeah, these things don't run max speed. So I can just code a cold, doesn't really matter. I should do a lot to it, yeah. Do half health. And I get the freeze. So that sucks for them. Although, in the long run, they did crit me twice. So, like, you deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it for critting me twice. I can just code a cold spam without any issue. Boom, 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 boom. I guess you could also make the argument that Kill Intel is the best Polar Geist counter, um, but um, Polar Geist will later get Siphon Soul, so incorrect statement. Why is half a Polar Geist tail missing, or is that like Crystal Shards? Rust, are, is that 25%? Oh yeah, that, now we don't get our moves anymore. But we still have speed it, so. And that'll be the end with Polar Guys winning the game. Very, very nice. Although we did get the lucky freeze on Lumaline, which it would have came down to if Actually, probably I would have just gone into Binotic and just not risked anything, you know? I would have gone Binotic and started spamming Recombobulate. But that's a good game. Let's off the next one. This is like the actual 11th time I fought this person in a showcase. I don't know how I keep matching up with them, but I'm all for it. Um, what can Garwato do? It really can't do that much, although it's really, really good versus Exable. It doesn't really do anything besides being good versus that. And I guess being able to check Volt Enchant's also nice. Um, our issue here is, I think what we gotta do is take advantage of uh, Polar Geist in this game. Although they do have a uh, Caramello. So we really got to take advantage of it. I think I'm just going to lead Voltato again. I like Voltato as a lead. I assume there's going to Lingering. And then clicking Lingering is totally fine. It doesn't really matter. Oh, it's Climate Shot. Okay. Um, I can hit Run then. I assume they're just going to Climate Shot themselves. Now, I know that these like to be more melee defensive than magic defensive. I think Jineko is my best option. Jineko kind of kills the entire team as well. So, that's good. Oh, it's... Okay, so that one's magically defensive. Okay. Well, I don't see anything stopping me from clicking this. He has no mind resist, so... I can always click, um... I always get to click Psycho Force. And if they get to go... If they go Glubby... Um, I kind of want to Hex on Glubby, honestly. They don't stay in, because they know they, they don't live. I mean, they take a lot from this, and they wouldn't risk it. I'm going to Hex on Glubby. Because they always go Glubby, I feel. Should they go Exival? You go Exful on Psycho Force? Okay, that's fine. Um, we just go Garwato at least. So Garwato. Oh wait! With Acid Rain being up, our Belch gets to poison something. Although they have like four immunities, that doesn't really matter because I'm just I'm just that good. I always get to go into this and I can't really be stopped. If I can get that magical attack, I might be able to break something. I don't really know what I break, but we're gonna find out. Jam, that should do nothing. Okay, yep, nothing. Now I assume that they're gonna forget Adipose's inability. Um, I'm gonna hope they do. 
because now here, if they forget it's an ability, I think I could just capsize though without much issue. Um, Reckless is also nice, but like it does more damage, but it's not worth it, I feel. Okay, nice. This is like good damage on this. We do want damage on Caramello, which could we... Okay, that, okay. so wait, it's, it's the other trait. Okay, so it's the other trait. So this means we have a good matchup with um, Bionautic. So I think what we got to do is go Voltatu. And then we always go Voltatu here without much issue. It is melee defensive Voltatu, yeah, but I think it's still our best option to go for here. They go for the toxic. I mean, I have shock therapy, so I can just heal up. Although it does, I don't think it works like that anymore. I think it's if you have status, it heals you for 50%, and if you don't, it's 33%, and yet it's still five uses. So, honestly, going great. Also, he's empty calories under acid rain. I assume Glubby's Belch. Yeah. Um. Well, I can hit run then. And if they stay in, I assume they just go for the beast move. Yeah, this Caramello is going to be a little irritating. No, I assume they actually... No. I kind of want to go Xenoxious, because they would... What are they... If they actually nutrient drain, Xenoxious dies. But if they belch, it's bad for Gerwato. That's my problem here, is if... I, I'm going to go Gerwato. Okay, they feast. So what I'm going to do is belch here. I'm going to try to get my poison off on this thing, because I need to poison it. For some reason, I thought that girl, that uh, Caramello was, um, what is it, normal type? So I was about to, like, they empty calorie, they just get the toxic off, but do I get my belch off? Nice, okay, so we both got a poison off there, so this thing's now on a timer. I need to get this off of the field. So I'm, I want to go Polar Geist, the issue is if, okay... I need Polar Geist this game, because it hits so much so hard. Um, and I think, honestly, just going Jineko is the best play. I just have to go Jineko. Oh, okay, buddy. Okay. So it's dying. This thing's dying to a Psycho Force here. I outspeed his entire team besides Exable. Actually, I could probably outspeed Exable. No. No. No, I don't. I don't. If I was the max speed Janeko, I would be able to speed it. I'm gonna Psycho Force here, because Soul Fire, he basically resists it. Okay, they go Glubby, which does... Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. That was a crit, that's why. Okay. Um, then I just Hex. I just get damage. It doesn't matter if uh, this dies, because I just need to kill Glubby. Weird Jelly Glubby, that's odd. I've been funny that didn't even kill me. Okay. Um, this puts me in, an, in a weird spot. I always get, I get to go Xenoxious here without much issue. And I get to always click Hexblade. So I'm always clicking that. And if they obviously have Jirocera in the back, but if they go Jirocera, nothing really stops it from spamming Poison Punch. Like if they go Exable, yeah, that's annoying, but then I can just Reckless Charge. Like, I don't really see anything that can stop me. Right? Like, they will go Jirocera here. Did they go Kara? Oh, they're just gonna Nutrient Drain. Okay, well, that's annoying. I have to go Polar Geist. Well, I can't go into Polar Geist. Oh, this is annoying because this Carmelo has really stopped me from playing the game. So that is two of five Nutrient Drains so far. So as long as I'm keeping track of how many Nutrient Drains he's actually using, I should be able to beat this in the 1v1. So, he only has three more nutrient drains left. Um, I guess I can stay in and hopefully waste another. I don't think I really need to use Garwato anymore. So, he went from Kona Cold even though I, like, resist it because of my ability. Um, this is weird because the situation I'm in is, is odd. I kind of want to go Binotic, but the problem is if I do that and he goes for nutrient, <clears throat> I'm not in a good spot. I need to call him. Honestly, 
like, the things I hit with Code of Cold, I might be able to outspeed besides Xenoxious. And I need... I... I need Binotic to deal with Xenoxious. Because I think Binotic can tank one hit from Xenoxious because it's melee defensive. I think I have to go Polar. I have to go Polar, guys. Yeah, I call the Feast. Okay, good. I call the Feast. He never stays in here. He never... St he would always... Wait, he can't go in x because then I, I, I can kill it with my Code of Cold. So I get to Feral Fury. Like, nothing stops him from getting Feral Fury. I always click Feral Fury. He can't switch into it. If he goes x I get to kill with Code of Cold. And he, he goes in Oxious here. Needed. He, yeah, he has to go in Oxious. And look at that. It's a lot of damage there. Now I get to go... Um, full Tattoo. And I can sack it. Because I no longer need Full Tattoo. I just need to get Polar Geist on the field and doing damage. Because that's what it's going to be doing right now. Is I need full talk to not full talk to um Xenox Polar guys to do damage. Okay, so now I'm actually getting Xenoxious in range. Oh, is it lethal? Okay, so it's not magic guard, okay. Um Well, I can just die here. He's now in range of Kona Cold to kill, because Feral Fury did uh 25%, and that was not very effective, so normally it would have done 50%. Kona Cold is stronger, so that works out in our favor. Yeah, so now Kona Cold can kill. Um then I would assume they would just go Volt Enchant, right? On it. Our issue right now is Volt Enchant. But Xenoxious outspeeds and gets a huge Reckless Charge. So, I need Polar Geist alive. I, like, am required to have Polar Geist alive for this game. So, I can never have Polar Geist take damage. And if they go into Jirisera, I always Kona Cold, I feel. Because right now they're forced to go Volt Enchant. And then I would have to go Gravado and Poison it. That's what I have to do. Because if I poison it and it's not shock therapy, I'm in a good spot. And then I have to just reckless charge it. But depending on if it's Juniper, I could get outsped. They actually go Exival, which is interesting. I can just Kona Cold then. I don't really know why they're going into this. They just sack this for no reason. I don't really know why they would do that. They sack that for absolutely no reason. <laughs> I don't really get why they would do that. I mean, I have priority with Ice Stream, so... Yeah, now they go into this. Well, now that... Okay. I feel like now I can hit this. Because after this dies, nothing outspeeds Polargeist. So, I Kona Cold for half here. And then I take... Yeah, okay. So, now I switch out. Go grow auto, And then I have to kill Bolt Enchant. Which, at this point, hopefully won't be that difficult. Hey, I can actually heal up. And I can body slam here. Body slam has a chance of killing. And that's what I need right now is body slam to kill. Because I think I can live one more shockwave and I'll die to disease next turn. I always body slam. I always, bo I always body slam. He would probably just go for the kill here thinking that it would kill. I had to hope I live. I think I'd live at like 3, 5 HP, something around there. Because I was at about 50%. Now I'm at 26. So it never kills me here. It would have to get a roll, I think. It's down to a roll. So they're smart and they're switching out. They, they can't sack it yet. Yeah, that definitely would have killed. Um. Now, our biggest issue is if Volt Enchant is Juniper Necklace. If it's Juniper Necklace, it outspeeds Xenoxious and kills it. Um. So that's my biggest problem here. I always go Xenoxious, though. And then I can sack Grawato. Although Binotic can still be Volta Chant the 1v1 because it can live one Shockwave. Actually, no, I can. No, if I was. He Lingerings, actually. So, well, I can just sack Grawato and go back into this later. So, I don't really know why you go for Lingering there. It's too late in the game to do that. I Poison Punch. Nothing stops me. And it is a magically defensive Geostera, so this should be able to get it low. Yeah. I assume. Okay, he missed Parasitic. So, it's a stall Geostera. I don't really know why it's stalling Geostera. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a climate shot based team. Um, now, if Volt Enchant is Juniper Necklace, this game's going to get really close. If it is not Juniper Necklace, then Xenoxious kills it with a Reckless Charge. So we're going to hope that it is not Juniper Necklace. That or they go to Caramello. Then we sack Grawato, go back into Xenoxious, and then Hexblade. Yeah. So. <clears throat> well, no. Ugh. That's annoying. Um. No, we gotta go into this. We have to go into this. Yeah, 
Then we go Polar Geist. And then kill it with a Feral Fury. So now we pick up a KO here with, with Polar Geist. Now we get a kill with Polar Geist here. So now he's also going to be diseased. Now he's on an even bigger timer than before. <clears throat> yep, now he's taken a lot of damage. No more Acid Rain. I can go Polar Geist here. He might think I'm going Xenoxious to get rid of Poison. I don't need to do that because Polar Geist's ability is no longer active. So that doesn't really change the game. I can always Feral Fury and picks up a KO, guaranteed. Binotic lives one and hopefully kills the Recombobulate. Um, if not, we'd have to lower the speed. It doesn't kill. I, I think I live one poison, actually. He, he should die. No, I die. Okay. He should die to a disease here. Nope. Well, he just goes innoxious. So now it all comes down to if the Voltage Chant is indeed Juniper Necklace or not. So here we go. It all comes down to this. It all comes down to this. Let's see if it's Juniper Necklace or not. Does not matter what I click. Something's going to die. All right. <laughs> it all comes down to this. Let's see, is it Juniper? Okay, it wasn't. Are you rock candy? Never mind. Hopefully, if he watches the video, he'll understand. All right, anyway, let's get battle. Let's hop the next one. I feel like in that battle, it really shows that if he, if he was indeed um, the speedier version of Voltachant, relying on Gem Blast boosts, then he would have been able to win the game. But if since he was Rock Candy going for more damage output one, because he was like the main damage dealer of the team, then it, it was interesting. It was very interesting there. But here, um, I love Voltatu in this game. I really like it versus the Zapoera. Um, a little worried about Junipyro because it can kind of kill me. But I do have Polar Geist, which kind of kills the entire team. I need to kill their Metalytra though, for I can win. Um, and I forget, does Ice hit Bug in this game? We're gonna find out. I, I think I just go full Tatu lead. <clears throat> Ooh, hoo, hoo, very nice lead. Um, uh, let me see. Um, Ice versus Bug. No interaction, okay. So, I can always click hit and run. If they go for Lightning Kicks, that's fine. Disarm. Ow! Doo Doo Head? Did way too much damage. My god, okay. Let's just kill it. Oh my god, that did way too much damage. Okay. Bye. God. Did way too much. Alright, Zapoera's dead. Zapdos had 50. Sick, okay. We killed the scariest thing. Plant Fire such a scary offensive typing. I don't know why. Like, like two things. No. Don't let it happen. Oh, God. <laughs> he needs a Grawato. <laughs> oh, my God. My guy can't beat me. I feel like at this point, I can just Feral Fury. It doesn't really matter. I outsped it. Okay. I'm just gonna Royal Ice. Eventful game so far. Don't do it. I don't think this kills, but. Alright, sick. That worked out. <laughs> okay, and here we go. To the final battle. I think the last one would have been the final one, but then he died in two seconds. Um, <coughs> Voltatu. Imagine old Voltatu in the meta right now. Okay, I don't like that lead. No, no, I don't like it. Um, I am gone. I'm gonna get hit with a gem blast here though, and I don't like that. But, okay. Oh, it's Rainmaker Climate Shot. Uh oh. Okay. I think I gotta go Grawado here. 
Guado being our main range tank is going to be very helpful to beat this thing. Because what I always do is I belch and poison it first. Because nothing really wants to switch in. And this is an instance where belch is really nice. Because I'm able to beat Clangatang. Because I can just uh, belch and then we're just charge. Although I don't really want to do that versus Clangatang. So I want to be worried about that. Okay. Um, I did miss my move. And it is Storm Surge. Okay, well. I'm not worried about that. Uh, Gomut sucks now. So I can go and deal. crap ow that did way too much damage ow okay <laughs> gomut sucks good to know okay so his entire gimmick was let's sweep with gomut instantly which he totally could have done he totally could just won there but i had my nautic luckily oh my god okay um bye i'm not fighting you <laughs> bye no I want to have this around for a rush on playing and tank later. Lethal ornament. Oh god. This is this is his entire all his crap is offensive I just realized. Okay, so I'm going to body slam here. Um I feel like he would be like, "Oh, he's going to go belch again." Then he'll go into one of his metal types. This is I don't like metal Itra. Oh, the psychic force wait, that's going to do like two damage. Go Groato. I need health to beat the Kadiri later as well, so this kind of sucks. I really need health to beat Kadiri. Um, body slam. He's gone into Clang. That hopefully this does good damage. I need good damage. Okay, nice, nice. I did a lot. I did a lot against okay, crayons. Interesting. Okay. Um, I feel like at this point I just need to kill this. It's. I think it always hit and runs, right? You always hit and run. That or you Iron Slash. Which I can't handle. I need to just damage this, honestly. Oh, is it Accelerate? Oh, please don't do that. I don't like that. Stop. Okay, it, it's Conductor. Well, I, I have Janeko, so I'm fine. But oh my god, that was scary. I think is gonna die. That'll be just sacked by Nautic. Although the Russian Clang Tank's nice. Um, I think we could still beat the Clang. Actually, no. We we need Groato or else we lose to the Kadiri. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna sack the Minotic. It's my best option. And then I take like a thousand damage on Janeko, which sucks. But I, I have to do this. I I ha this is my best option right now because this is this has gotten a sharpen, and I have to do this. So I go Janeko, Janeko, yeah, Janeko, oh Janeko. Um. I do get magic. Ooh, that's good. Okay, so I can Soul Fire. I can get a lot of damage here. I can get a lot of damage on his team now. Soul Fire is going to do a lot to the entire team. And I am going to go to Determination Jelly, but nothing on his team has priority unless it's Quick Ice Kadiri, which I could see being used. It could, it's, although it's probably Gem Blast, Aurora Flash, Mind Drain, and Code of Cold Kadiri. It's probably not Quick Ice. Four attacks, Purse Cloak. Be interesting. How much is that doing? Because th that is that is a cursed cloak. Uh, this is an instance where I really, really should have kept Binotic around. Um, I always get to go into this. <clears throat> okay, nice. He goes for the shatter. Um, okay, here's my issue here. If I hit and run, and they go for an attack, I assume they're just gonna try elemental. I think my better option. Um, no, if I hit and run, actually. And I go Groato. <clears throat> I think that he goes for Fire Elemental. Dark Slash. Show me my present at 30. Okay. Um, I have to sack this here. And then have Janeko beat Kadiri. Um, but that's a tall order. I think we lose Kadiri, honestly. I think we just lose to Kadiri. Like, looking at it. If I can't one-shot it with Janeko, actually, Janeko's Soul Fire plus Polar Geist's thing might be enough. I have to go for the Reckless here. I have to get damage on this. <clears throat> really, that's really good there. That's really good. Actually, no. If it's not Max Speak Deer, if it's Glum, if it's Glum, Rock Candy, Amber, then is Anoxious should outspeak, because I think Kadiri's 100 base speed. I think it goes Anoxious. <clears throat> And now this pops off. Now, 
I have to hope that Kadiri is not max speed. If it's not, I get to kill like four. I get to kill like the whole team here with the Noxious. <clears throat> Gerardo did a lot of work there, gaining Volt Enchant pretty low, and then being able to get the Clang and kill range with the Noxious. Uh, he's also scared of uh, Janeka right now. Now, this all kind of comes down to if Kadiri's max speed. Because he, if he goes Metal Elytra, it doesn't matter. Yeah, this doesn't really matter. Because the best thing he can do is Iron Slash, which doesn't kill me. My Reckless Charge will kill. I actually outsped him, which is nice. So, if I outsped Metal... Okay. Now, if that, if Volta Chance a gem... Okay, he, yeah, he has to go into this. Now, it all comes down to if it is... Okay, it was. Okay. Actually, no, it was Flash Bang. Okay. Well, I have to hope that Reckless Charge kills. Or, I, it does kill. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah I win. So, I don't just win this game. So Noxious is broken. <laughs> Fun fact, even with the attack lower, I can still kill the entire team. So even with this attack lower, I still kill the Pomp Board. Because it is a super effective hit and it's life orb. And it's a stat. Actually, don't kill it. Oops. Uh-oh. That's not good. Disarm. I die here. That's fine. If I recall correctly, this thing is more magically defensive than melee. So I still think even if I go Janeko, it's fine because I can 2-it-KO. I'm pretty sure it's melee defensive, though. Magically defensive, sorry. Um, although, this is a 90 base stab, and I'm uh, more offensive Janeko, so this should still kill. I was using max speed Janeko for a little bit till I realized I had a Binotic. GG. Good game. Good. Good game. Anyway, stop a little overview thing I do at the end of these videos now. And with that being said, that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. And if I'm going to be honest, I think Gerardo is really cool. But I think there's some flaws with it. Like, I think it is one of the doodles that I think requires heal. Um, I really like what I use today. Because it could belch on metal types completely for free. Except for Metal Elytra, which we were still able to do good work versus Metal Elytra. We still needed a Gerardo to deal with a Kadiri, But we ended up outspeeding it with Xenoxious. Xenoxious clutched out two games today by outspeeding very important threats. So, honestly... Very, very happy with the performance of Grawato. I hope you guys also enjoyed. I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.